Hey folks, Jackdaw here. In the vast and ever-evolving Mass Effect universe, one central and groundbreaking technology takes the spotlight, and it's Quantum Entanglement Communication, or QEC for short. This innovative sci-fi concept has left its mark on both the original trilogy and the events of Mass Effect Andromeda, and there's a strong indication that it is going to continually shape the entire future of Mass Effect. So join me as we delve into intriguing theories and possibilities that entwine AI, Cerberus, SAM, interstellar communication, and the future of the next chapter of Mass Effect. Let's first understand what QEC is, hearing directly from ED. I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. Expanding on what she said a little bit further, in a world where standard communication travels at the speed of light, causing noticeable delays and requiring physical proximity for effective conversation, quantum entanglement communication operates instantaneously at the speed of light, thus defying any constraints of distance. It operates on the principle of particle entanglement, creating a permanent connection. Any change to one particle triggers an instantaneous response in its entangled counterpart regardless of the spatial gap. Giving it all some context, within Mass Effect, QEC is the technology that not only allowed the elusive man to employ his holograms across the Milky Way, but it also served as the foundation for the Andromeda Initiative and the constant communication between the Pathfinders and their AI partners in Mass Effect Andromeda. This two-way connection provides the AI with complete insight into their host's physical and mental state. It allows them to manipulate neural signals, enhancing a Pathfinder's abilities or responses in a moment of crisis. Thanks to the power of quantum computing, these adjustments occur even faster than synaptic transmissions. Now if that doesn't put the importance and power of QEC into perspective, consider this. Without QEC, the Andromeda Initiative's journey to the Andromeda Galaxy would have taken an astounding 2.5 million years at light speed, making their mission an impossible undertaking without QEC. Tying on to this as a quick side thought, while the primary objective of the Andromeda Initiative remains enigmatic, a potential sequel to Andromeda might have involved the establishment of a QEC-based communication relay network. Their initial attempts were hampered by the Scourge. This network would transmit data between strategically positioned buoys linked by mass-free corridors of space, aiming to create a reliable and efficient system for galaxy-wide data transmission. With the Scourge no longer a hint after Andromeda's story, and depending on the direction of the future Mass Effect games, this network could actually make a return, facilitating intergalactic connections and bridging the Andromeda and Milky Way galaxies. Moreover, the absence of mass relays also necessitates the creation of a relay in Andromeda, which might actually hold the key to the initiative's overarching plan. This relay could also actually form the foundation of a sequel to Andromeda's narrative, offering potential connections to the Milky Way once more. In in another direction, more consistent with the future of QEC tech, there's a lingering theory, one that actually might bridge the gap to the next Mass Effect. This is a theory that you will no doubt have heard, but let's shed a bit more light on it. It suggests that the Elusive Man might have played a role in funding the Andromeda Initiative as its benefactor, and this theory gains even more credibility when we consider that QEC tech was predominantly associated with Cerberus in the past. Normandy SR2, E elusive man, etc. The former leader of the Andromeda Initiative, Gene Garson, met an untimely end assassinated mere months before our Rider's arrival. Equally mysterious are the funding and actions of Rider's father, Alec Rider, a central figure in Andromeda who collaborated with Gene Garson and this unidentified benefactor who used a voice changer. Throughout the games, our Rider collects memory fragments from their father's experiences, gradually
gradually piercing together a larger puzzle. We found out that this enigmatic benefactor believed in reports of the Reapers, an ancient galactic menace that cyclically returns every 50,000 years to threaten all life in the Milky Way. These revelations changed the Andromeda Initiative's objectives from purely scientific colonization to a last resort plan to safeguard sentient life. It's a powerful moment actually, witnessing fragments of the Reapers' invasion as Turian warships seek help and Liara's message stands out as she emphasises that Ryder is humanity's last hope. Jokes on you Liara, we're coming back for you. But it also marks the narrative challenge of addressing the quantum entanglement technology and putting the galaxy's interest to rest while crafting a new story. Because as the fragments unfold, we uncover that this enigmatic benefactor had a relentless drive to push Alec Ryder into conducting research on this entire AI project involving quantum computing, ultimately leading to the creation of SAM, a simulated adaptive matrix, essentially a new generational artificial intelligence. Which is a topic in itself. The SAM project is an integration that can directly influence one's biology with the goal of learning and helping them grow, only through the use of QEC tech. Strikingly, this concept echoes the Reaper's intentions as they sought to prevent such developments. It's a notion that begs further exploration in a future Mass Effect game, becoming the actual threat that the Reapers initially feared. And in a galaxy where the Reapers may no longer pose a threat, humanity now has this very opportunity to become the very entity that once inspired fear. Truly, I think, a very exciting possibility that we could have in the next Mass Effect. Because I believe that with QEC tech, this could be the next evolution of humanity. Or at least, our next protagonist. Maybe they fully embrace this AI with direct sensory input via a neural implant, allowing new generations to then take the lead and propel humanity forward. It's certainly a very much interesting storyline. With the trilogy, we had a culmination of organics versus synthetics, lust resulting in the Reaper invasion, and Andromeda merely touched on this stuff, not fully letting it expand any further. But now we have the next installment that can properly do it justice and develop into it even further. Now, in the same wavelength, the Pathfinders in Andromeda, who had their very own SAM AIs, raise quite a few questions themselves. You see, these were trusted individuals chosen by the Andromeda Initiative to explore the uncharted territories of the Andromeda Galaxy, yet they all have morally ambiguous pasts. They seem to be anything but typical pioneers, or something that you would want an upstanding, safeguarding organisation to hire, each of them having involvement in murder, assassination, and deceit. Again, more questions arise. Why would an organisation poised to chart new worlds, broker peace and establish civilization in a brand new galaxy hire such a morally questionable crew? Additionally, why equip them with one of the most, if not the most, powerful AI known to the Mass Effect universe? Such an intriguing possibility that was also left unanswered, but it certainly kind of hints towards the potential involvement of Cerberus, raising suspicions of their covert machinations once again, now extending their shadowy influence into the uncharted territories of the Andromeda galaxy. Now, even if Cerberus isn't the driving force behind the Andromeda initiative, the evolution of QEC tech showcases a significant leap in Mass Effect lore, from instantaneous holographic communication to the implementation of biological changing AI. The future of this technology is steering the Mass Effect narrative into uncharted and thrilling territory, promising an enriching, distinctive and compelling story. Now, I would say one of the shortcomings in Andromeda's storylines lies in how Ryder's mission predominantly relied on Sam. Nearly everything unique about Ryder stemmed from their connection with Sam, and consequently, the central narrative revolved around Sam's influence. Even the primary antagonist, the Archon, sought to harness Sam for his own objectives. This kind of overshadowed Ryder's individual agency within the storyline, leaving much room for improvement in future narratives if we are going to have such a heavy focus on an AI at the centre of our character. That's just a quick small pet peeve that I wanted to throw out there in the spirit of talking about AI, but as time unfolds in the Mass Effect universe, questions naturally arise about how the relays have been rebuilt, considering the absence of mass relays in Andromeda and potentially the destroy ending in Mass Effect 3, which has certainly been most hinted by the Mass Effect promo posters. The gradual process of expanding the relay network to other systems while dealing with the unknown dangers that may lurk on the other side of newly established relays presents a compelling setting for new adventures, and QEC emerges as a powerful 
tool that can facilitate numerous technological solutions, all very happily without resorting to retcons or contrived plot devices. Its potential as an intriguing narrative element surpasses the very essence of what the Reapers aimed to suppress, promising an entirely fresh storyline. Moreover, QEC introduces an array of novel gameplay elements, reminiscent of the engaging experiences found in Andromeda, with its dynamic class system being able to change any class on the fly. And as a remarkable technology, QEC boasts the capacity to establish direct connections and communication with characters across different galaxies. This advanced capability holds the key to uniting characters from the Milky Way and Andromeda to this new thrilling chapter of the Mass Effect universe. And as Cerberus is at the heart of the evolution of QEC, and they have their midst in the Andromeda galaxy, it's a brilliant way to also bring back familiar narratives with now a fresh twist. Like, what's the future of Cerberus? Ultimately, the Mass Effect universe holds, I would say, a promising future, filled with many intriguing possibilities. From the return of the Geth and Liara, to many narrative threads introduced in Mass Effect Andromeda that I believe could provide a captivating foundation for the next chapter in this beloved franchise. Let me know all of your thoughts down below. What would you like to see in the next Mass Effect? I'd love to hear all your thoughts down below. Until next one, you are already in the right place for the latest on the next Mass Effect. I have been Jackdaw, and I should go. Whoa, 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 whoa.